Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Olden Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the upcoming week of Mutt content. You guys know I do this pretty much every Sunday. It's kind of like my video on a Sunday morning for football games, of course, and everything else I'm probably going to be doing today, which probably just football games and some school stuff. But, guys, let's head on into this. I'm super excited. I love going over this. And we have a pretty big week this week specifically. A lot of uncertainties as well as, like, how they're going to drop certain content. But guys, for today's video, before we get into it, let's give a shout out to the Poodle Squad. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell. Now for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Taj Nicholson. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate your show and support. Now for this upcoming week of Mutt content, if you guys do need coins or anything, head on over to MuttReserve.com. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Take advantage, guys, of some Harvest and Black Friday Blitz sales. But let's start off with tomorrow, right? So today's Sunday. Nothing, of course, but tomorrow's Monday. So for Monday, we have the usual. We have no content, right? That's typically what it is. Now, because we have uh, Autumn Blast stuff, I'm not sure if they'll drop a surprise LTD tomorrow, which is possible. Not entirely sure. But we do have our Team of the Week predictions, guys. So do expect, you know, I watch today's games. I'll do my Team of the Week predictions tomorrow. We have a computer again, so I can actually do them this week. So I will be doing my predictions tomorrow. Hopefully, we, got some, we, have, some good, we have some good options, right? I mean, hopefully we got some big performances. I'm hoping for Mahomes card pretty soon. I hope. I think they're saving him for Black Friday, right? It has to be Blitz. He has to be the Blitz Master. Him or Tyreek Hill, or both, has to be one of the two because it's been so long since we've gotten it. We, we haven't gotten a Mahomes card. We've gotten a Team of the Week upgrade, but that wasn't a you know Mahomes card. Moving on, guys. We've got Tuesday, which is going to be Team of the Week. Now for Team of the Week, let's go over some of the stuff here. So for Team of the Week, we're on Week 10. Now for Week 10 release, we have 92, 92, 92, 92s, right? So let's see how long it's been that we've had 92s for. Let's go back to Week 7. Week 7 was 91. Week four was 91, and then week, okay, 92. So 92 regular started here. How long do we have 91s for? Let's go back and check. At least three. Okay, so we're probably going to be with 92s another week, more than likely at least. At bare minimum, we'll probably go another week of 92s. So I probably, I'd probably i be expecting 92s tomorrow and a 93 over LTD probably. Now, last week's wasn't too great. I mean, Todd Heap, Darius Williams, Paul Plus Lesnar, they were all cool, but they weren't like, you know, all meta per se. So I'm hoping that we get some bangers. I'm still waiting on that Jamal Charles. I know he said it accidentally, but now I really want Jamal Charles or Chris Johnson. But Chris Johnson, they probably save for a big promo like Christmas or the Blitz Master. So we're waiting on that. So now that we're at Tuesday, guys, remember, 26th is when things are going to go down, right? 26th is when stuff's going down because it is Thanksgiving Day. So Wednesday now. For Wednesday, we got Wild Card Wednesday now. I don't know what they'll drop this week. They've been mixing it up. I'm hoping that's power-ups. I really want a big influx of power-ups. I think that's you know that's what we need right now in Madden. Just a bunch of new power-ups so that we can actually start powering people up. And then let's say Chase Claypool, right? Like, there's a lot of people we could use power-ups on. So hopefully, they do go ahead and get that handled for us as soon as possible. So hopefully, it's a power-up Wild Card Wednesday. I mean, we got Rising Star. We've been getting everything, it seems like. So I don't I don't know why we wouldn't go back to power-ups soon. Um, hopefully, that is what they end up going. Now, Thursday's the big day. Uh, day. Thursday is Thanksgiving Day, so I expect Thanksgiving Day probably get some special limited time solos, or just the solos we have already. Um, I believe we might get an LTD, whether it be Blitz or, you know, Thanksgiving. And as well as, we will have the Blitz promo starting at 8 p.m. that night, which is super important, guys, because you have to understand, too, that's the first Blitz drop. Now, I don't know if that'll be the best offer or the worst offer, but it'll be a offer. And that's like, like last year, that went crazy right off the bat. At 8 p.m., they dropped a Kyler Murray. I remember that on Thanksgiving Day. Kyler Murray, he wasn't like glitchy or anything, but it was it was Kyler Murray Blitz. Like that was a cool card to get. So I, I don't know if this year they'll give it away like last year. I didn't really like the. I mean, it was for, okay. From let me rephrase this. They gave us a schedule last year where they pretty much told us when and what everything was coming out. Now as a content creator, I didn't like that. I kind of liked the surprise to make a video of it. But as a, as a regular, you know, as a human being, it, it's better because you know, like okay, I don't have to be home. I don't have to be wasting my family time or my work time being here. It's gonna it's gonna suck and it's just gonna be like a legend pack, right? But Pretty much, if you guys, I mean, if you guys want to be ready for Black Friday, have the credit cards ready because that, you know, those Black Friday promos, they, they give you good deals, but they, they, they cost money, right? At the end of the day, like, my best advice I can give you guys is do not go for whoever the master is. Just wait till people do it and go buy them off the auction block. It is not worth going ahead and getting that master done by yourself. Unrealistic. It's just, it's very unrealistic unless they change the format this year. But yeah, 8 p.m. will be the first offer. Then we'll probably have an offer at 12 p.m., then 4 a.m., no, sorry, 12 a.m., then 4 a.m., then 8 a.m., then 12 p.m. again, and then 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and then 12 a.m. It kind of goes in that format. It's usually every four hours. Now, I'll show you guys quickly a little, a little blog on it. You guys see here, this is kind of what it looks like uh, last year. So, like, it was unlocks at 
November 30th at 8 p.m. So at 8 p.m. we got Jalen Smith. At 8 a.m. we got a, um, a Montez Sweat. At 8 a.m. here we got Robbie Anderson. Then here was like every four hours. So four clutch packs at four o'clock. Let's just say. Then here at 12 a.m. is Blitz Superstars packs and veterans. And these were you know you were able to open these at Blitz Bolts, which were like a discounted rate pretty much. These were the master sets I was telling you guys about. So you to exchange 125 Blitz Master tickets. Now you got tickets by doing these. So like. You pretty much would open up, let's say, this pack right here, right? You spend 1,500 bolts, you get seven tickets back. You need 125 to see Lamar, so you'd have to buy, essentially, if you just did this pack, like, to just about 20 of these. Now, you couldn't buy 20 because it was only two, but if you bought 20, it'd be like buying 20 Legend Fantasy Packs, which you guys know that, you guys know how that math adds up. Pretty much paying 2 million coins, if that's how the conversion worked. Uh, here, 4,300 4, for Jalen Smith, and you get 23 master tickets, so, like, you can pretty much see how these, how these, you know, these overalls and this, this is pretty much formatted. So hopefully, you guys stay away from that one. Oh, we'll probably have some blitz solos as well. I do expect a lot of that other stuff, guys. And then um, house tours. I mean, they didn't give us a lot. They gave us like almost no blitz bulls last year. Hopefully, I do fix that. Uh, Five hundred coins for a quick hundred. That was that was actually a pretty good deal. And then of course bundles, but those bundles cost money. So here was like some bundles were good, some weren't. Uh, one of the better ones was the um, the centennial pack you were able to do for like. I don't know, like 10, 20 bucks in the Redux pack for 10, 20 bucks, where you got a uh, NFL uh, 50 player, not the 50, sorry, NFL 100 player, and you got a Redux player. So that one was really good as well. Hopefully they do bring those back. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's move on. So then we got Friday, guys. Now, fr oh, uh, also, by the way, we have Thursday is going to be um, LTDs as well. So make sure you are checking that out. Uh, Thursdays usually are LTD drops. So I, I guess on Thanksgiving they'll drop. Maybe they're fun with it and they drop LTDs that also coincide with Thanksgiving. So like two Thanksgiving LTDs are people who play on Thanksgiving Day. Also, make sure you're checking your autumn all-stars, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, your all-stars, by the way. Make sure you are getting, you know, get those ready to go for Thanksgiving Day games. Definitely going to be super fun. I would definitely be ready on that. Now, for the LTEs, you guys know the LTEs have been actually really, really, really good. Compared, considering last year, like, the last two years, like, there's night perform primetime performers and all that stuff. Like, they weren't really that great. Like, they were always kind of like, eh. You know, like, you were never hyped about them, but they made them good this year. Shaq Griffin was is great. Brandon Brooks is great. Tyler Boyd wasn't bad. Roquan Smith was great. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Devin McCourty was great. Uh, Cooper Cup was Cooper Cup was actually bad. Saquon Barkley was great. Marlon Humphrey was great. Like we've been having some great, great cards. So hopefully they keep it up. Now in terms of 93s, we've had one week of 93s. Let's see, we have two weeks of 93s. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we've had two weeks of 93s. So could we see a 94 this week? It's possible, but I'm not. I'm not sure if we will. It could be another week of 93s first. But either way, hopefully someone good. I would love to see a Tyreek Hill today, but I doubt it. They're probably saving him for a promo. If they haven't dropped him yet, probably saving him for something at this point, you know, in terms of just how many opportunities he's had with, like, Team of the Week or promos, and they just haven't given it to him. So they're definitely saving him for something. But moving on from that, guys, then we're on, we're on Friday, which is going to be the 50. Now, the 50's been great. It's been fun. Nothing, you know, no, nothing crazy. But 93's is kind of, kind of what we're dealing with here. So in terms of 93's, I'm hoping, again, like, maybe we can see 94's. Um, the prices have been, of course, cheap for those cards. You know, it's not like anything crazy. Like, you know, it's affordability-wise. But go to the 50. Go back to week 7, right? So, there were 93s there. Week 6, 92. So, week 7 was 93s. Uh, week 8 was 93s. And, of course, week 9 is 93. So, I think this week is the week we see 94 overalls. Hopefully, that's what we end up seeing there. So, if we see the 94 overalls out of that spot, they're going to get really good. And I feel like we're getting close to Moss. Could Moss be a Blitz? Like, maybe they do, like, last year, a current and old Blitz. Like, maybe they do a Randy Moss, like, Blitz Master. That'd be cool. And, like, a current, you know whatever i don't know if they'll do it but it'll definitely be cool and then saturday we have the legends of course which are now at 94 overall so those have gotten those, those legends have gotten good now could we start seeing base 94 though you know what i mean like let's see how long we've had 93 for uh well we, we just got 93 so we're, we're mm, let's see how many actually we have six here that's three we have three weeks this guy we could start seeing a 95 le okay either this week or the next weekend there will be 95 legends in the game i don't know when but that'll be cool to see finally. And of course, Sunday again, we got nothing. But guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and grow the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the upcoming week. I'm super excited for the Blitz. That's definitely like the selling point of this week. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the Poodle Squad, Noti Bell, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad. And of course, guys, shout out to our man from earlier, Tol Taj Toj Nicholson. Sorry if I botched your name on that one. And yeah, heading over to my reserve, pick up some coins. Uh, if you want to get ready for the Blitz, and of course, for just anything that comes out this week, just go Poodle 50% off your order. Thank you guys for watching. The rest of your day is my only video for today. I'll see you guys back tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.